Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. Of course, we're here today at Youth Empowerment Program. That's Yep, and we've have Mr. Lewis. As um he said, I'm known here at Yep Youth Empowerment Project as um Mr. Lewis, Kimon Lewis to be specific. And I also go to gardening with the youth here and try to encourage some type of agriculture amongst them and self-sufficiency when it comes to making and growing their own fruits, food and plants. Okay, so basically Mr. Lewis is um, coordinating the agricultural aspect of this um, program, project, mm -hmm. what's your project or program? Project. Project. <laughs> project. <laughs> yeah, we do programs, but the name is, um, you know, in as project. So okay. it's Youth Empowerment Project. Okay, so it's Youth Empowerment Project. I do apologize. So we have Mr. Lewis here and um, basically we are going to do like a review of a package which is in regards to agricultural tools or equipments for children and it's to encourage them or to let them know what different tools they could use and because they're miniature version they would identify the bigger type either at their father's or their mother's farm their backyard garden they, it will empower them to recognize and identify these tools and give them the motivation and the interest to actually practice backyard gardening of small um, farming that is correct, that is correct. Now this, this um, toolkit was sponsored by Unite BVA Foundation, the um, foundation that usually sponsors our stuff for us over the, um, the summer period. And this kit was given out to most of the youth um, so they can do, like he said, famine in a virtual sense with us. Because they, you know, over the COVID, they were not here physically, but we still had to get it out to them so they can have something to do and build that self-sufficiency with themselves. Okay, that's so let's, good. Let's see what's in it. Okay, let's see what's in it. So, of course, I'll be giving some um, review, and Mr. Lewis, of course, will be giving some review. So, I'm going to pull the first item I can out of the bag. Okay, so here we have the seed planters, or basically to grow the seedlings. Um, now, what I love about this, this is uh, made from cardboard material. So it's biodegradable. Yes. So, so they can just put it in and then it'll just um, degrade right in the soil one time. So they don't have to take it out. Sometimes they could just cut it into small squares as they fill it. And it's just a nice little, you know, item. Okay, good. And of course, as we said, it will encourage them to know that when they see this, they would recognize that they can use containers and, and possibly other biodegradable material Correct. to grow seedling. And then this will, of course, promote recycling and, um, of course, using things in your household to plant. Mm -hmm. So that's also good for retaining moisture. Mr. Lewis, take something from the bag. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, lucky dip. Let's go, let's go. What do we have here? Aha. Voila. Okay. Now this is uh this is just a spray a sprayer. Basically, you can use this for um um spraying pests off of the leaves and stuff as well as watering the plant because it gives a good little mist and it has a lock on it, which is so cool. Good. And I know th I know they will love this. Okay, good. <laughs> so that that's a good idea because most time children, when you ask them to wet the plants, they would pour the water too strongly and it will actually remove the seed or destroy the roots of the seedling. So this is a good bottle that they could use to, as you said, spray the pests. And of course, there are organic um, solutions you could use to spray pests. You don't have to use pesticide. There are organic solutions such as um, baking soda with some soap powder um, or dishwashing liquid oil. These things could help to keep away pests. Um, so this is a good one, of course. Thank you so very much, Mr. Lewis, for reviewing this one. I'm gonna get one myself right now. Okay, so I've got another one. <laughs> this, uh, this, 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 this. I wonder what's the scientific uh, name for it particularly. I, you know? I'm not quite sure, but it looks like a squeezy or something. <laughs> um, for sure, it looks like you can either one or two things, use it to pull water up from something and give the plant. So that's what I'm mainly thinking this can be used for. So you pull up water and then the children, instead of, again, instead of digging out the seed with the water pointed heavily, you just gently squeeze it and it um, dis dispenses the water directly into the roots or into the soil for the plant. So that's a good one, of course. Mm -hmm. Alright, next one. Okay, well, let me see if I find the other half of this. These are gloves I was given to all of them. It can, be, it can fit adults and youth. And it's a snug fit as well. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> now this is what you call uh, terracotta pot. 
is made out of clay and the reason this was included in the kit is so they can have like a self irrigation watering system for themselves so they don't have to constantly water with this you just seal the hole at the bottom which has um, a sealant in here a smaller sealant that you put here a um, little putty and then you can cover this however you could leave it open pour water in put it in the soil next to the plant's root and it will diffuse the water into the soil one time over time so you don't have to constantly water it will do it by itself very nice okay and of course it's made out of clay so it will work pretty well and i saw there's a pair, a pair of gloves so there's a pair of um terracotta pots oh, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> and of course the gloves remember always encourage your children to use the gloves you might notice most of in my videos i don't use the gloves because of the fact that i know what's in the soil and i am one who likes to connect with nature but of course for children being it is that they're more vulnerable as people um i would really suggest that you encourage them to use gloves as much as possible so it's my turn now Let's see what I can get from here. I'm feeling something. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here's another. It seems like I am the one in control of the world today. <laughs> so here is another um, bottle. Not quite sure what this one is for. It looks like the same purpose, like 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 this one, and it has measurements. Yeah, this one has measurements. Oh, okay. So this one you can do the same as putting um probably solutions to um encourage plant growth, like um what you call some nutrients you can mix it and you can measure it how much you put okay. at a time also you can basically use it to squirt water onto the to the roots without it being too hard like you said earlier to you know for the roots to be exposed okay it's, yeah it's very good it's squeezable nice disposal and everything yeah that's great okay my phone oh, this drum roll no this Wow, <laughs> this is like a pot. Is it a pot? You know, this one is like a scoop. Oh, you can use this to scoop up, um, you know, soil and put it in, just sprinkle it in. Very neat, okay? Okay, very neat. The one is very nice and simple. Let me see if I get a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you got a good one. I got the good one. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we have here. Can I open this? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So we are gonna open it. This is like a miniature garden tool set. Now, of course, remember you've got your bigger set, okay? So we got here, normally you have your massive arm size basically for your garden, but at least it allows them to see or identify what the tools look like. So you've got here, which is more of a pointier shovel, right? and um we've got a larger base shovel and this basically looks like a rake generally if it's bigger it's a rake so they could use it to remove stones in the soil but usually i would encourage for children you give them soil mixed with compost not compost sorry but potting soil there's less bacteria in it for them um it's okay so please try your best to give them potting soil children especially little children give them that opportunity to be exposed to the soil texture but not the soil itself because they are much more vulnerable than we are does their hands are softer it's easier for their hands to get caught so it's best to give them this potting soil and of course they can practice by using um this rake and of course they can dig this is quite nifty quite nice and they can also use this when they're transplanting a seedling yes so this one is pointier than this one so they could easily move the dirt around these are some very good equipment good um small miniature version of um, gardening tools for the kids so that they could be encouraged guys okay without peeking because you didn't see me <laughs> <laughs> this this tool is very neat it's similar to um how you can use use this, well, these small spades or well, with this one it's a measuring tool for planting seeds it's got a cone base so you just pop pull out wow and measure by inch or centimeter how deep the seed needs to go into you know the soil and everything so that it grows very quickly and easily okay it's very, I, very I, I love this one and as you notice where it's designed when it pushes into the soil it spread the soil so it will not cave in until you drop the um, seed of course and use your miniature version and just scoop up the soil okay let's see what's remaining i'm feeling something so what is this Okay. Ah, nice. Yeah. This is a this is a makeup set now. <laughs> okay. Um. Of course, this is a brush. You could use it for anything. Maybe when they pour the soil into the 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 trays, they could use it to clean it out, to make it more neat. Just a way of keeping the environment against children mm -hmm. clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's just. I, I figure you can also use it to clean stuff off of the um off of leaves and stuff like that. You know, you can just. Yes. Because it's very small, it's, it's a very cool little tool. Yes. You can just 
sweep all that stuff off. Yeah, yeah. He's absolutely right. You can. Okay, let's see. No whammies, no whammies. <laughs> no whammies. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. Well, we all should know what this is. A little tweezer are set. No, you can use this to pick up small seeds because you know how sometimes you have very small seeds. Some, some like the lemon band. It has very black small seeds. So you can use this just to clip that one and be more efficient when you planting seeds because sometimes you might just get lazy and spread it. <laughs> you know, but you want to teach them to have that patience and pick it up and put one in there, one in there, and one in there. So they have more seeds they can plant over time. That is absolutely right. Gardening takes patience. You have when we come to gardening. Ooh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, so and I recognize the, the design of it and I often believe it is used to uproot plants when you don't want to cause too much damage to the root system. It's good to use this. Now, of course, you may not need to use this in any of those because they're very, they're basically almost the same size. However, um, if you have like a bigger um, pot, they can use this to assist them, not just uprooting it, but they could use this mm -hmm. and put it in on each side of the stem. So the stem goes in the middle, or the, at least you try to get the stem in the middle uproot. And here's another small part again for shoveling or to, for removing anything to assist them. So this is very encouraging. Yeah, very encouraging. Like he said, you can use this. I guess you can also use this for, you know, weeding and stuff. So you get all the root out. So it doesn't oh, yes. quickly. Yeah, yes. This is, yeah, this this is a good one, guys. Yes, for weeding also. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Lewis. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. No, this is the golden pack. This is a golden ticket right here. <laughs> this has all the seeds in it. I mean, let's open it. Yeah, let's, let's open, open it. it. Yeah, let's open what it. What I'll do, guys, I'll take a picture of it so that you could get a closer view um, of it. But let's see if we can identify the seeds. Okay, let's see what we have in here. So, I, is, I is, this, <laughs> is, is this a variety of seeds or yes. is it just one? Yes, it is a variety of seeds. We made sure that we um we put different seeds so they can um, experience different growing times. Oh, nice. Yeah, and see how different types of seeds actually grow the rooting system and so on and so forth. Okay, now, that's good, guys. You guys may not see all of them, but like he said, he'll do a close up for them. But let's see what we have here so far. Okay. Oh, these are some very small seeds. Yeah, <laughs> these are very small seeds. You have to use that to use that to thing. But yeah. this is the biggest one, which it is. Can, this is a this is a pumpkin or squash or yeah, one pumpkin of them. or squash. Yeah, one of them. Right. Yeah, this is it's right. only one seed of this kind or yeah it seems like it's only one seed because i know we had to uh, split these seeds a packet of seeds oh. between about 200 200 and possibly 200 so it's wow. like about yeah about 200 packets which went out both in virgin Garda and in tortola so we have we have the same small lemon bam um seed that i was talking about is very small and like well he's going to show you after a the while picture will come up soon mm -hmm. and then we have um uh peppers. this is a pepper seed yeah it looks like peppers mm -hmm. and this looks like tomato these are tomato seeds correct yeah yeah, yeah. Right. have a nice <laughs> <laughs> all right okay guys so we're gonna put our little golden packet back in and for future planting my turn okay i'm getting something oh <laughs> nice so this, oh, this oh. is a nice color <laughs> i like this one of course this one is even better it allows you to take a lot more soil if you notice how it's designed it has a bigger scoop. It's a bit smaller than the quantity you may pick up from this one, but it allows you to get a nice scoop and then dump on there, okay? So this is a nice one and I like the color. Brown and green, great color, nature. Mm-hmm, yes, so true. Any more? Yeah. Yes, I'm hearing something in the bag. If you want, if you want. Oh, okay. Oh. okay, now this is a sharp tool. Wow. Now we caution this. We we make sure we caution this to let parents know that if, the, if they are using this tool, that they need to be there with them to assist them. No, Definitely. This, this is for pruning, basically. You can use this basically for pruning. Wow. It's very, yeah. It's a little scissors. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> very neat, very neat. I you wanna, you wanna open it for them to see? Yeah, that is. Nonetheless, no remember that your parents have to be there, okay? Parents, please ensure that when you get that package, well, by then you should have gotten that package. But please keep it away from the children and unless necessary, then you go ahead and assist them in using it. But it's very neat. And it, yeah, it's, it's very neat. I love the design. Mm -hmm. oh. it's just, and it's easy to use, very user friendly. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can... that's a neat one. Okay, now your turn. Okay. Actually. Is there anything in there? I believe we have one more. Something. 
Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So we've got two types then. This one looks more like a doctor's type. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got one, of course. We've got a straight one we had originally at first. And then we've got a curved one. I guess it's based on the type of seed to assist you in picking up the seed even better. But basically, it's two of them. They're like tweezers, but they're designed just for the seeds, okay? We have any more in there? Yeah, we have one more to feel right. Well, we have two more. Two but more. The last one is a, is a good surprise. Okay. Now, this one is oh. for... Let me guess. Mm -hmm. Can I guess? It's for marking. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, so it's two. I mean, you can reuse these for placement, placement, and you okay. can even tape something on to make sure that you notify. Like, this is this type of seed, tomato, okay. and so on and so forth. It teaches them to document what they're doing, you know, to identify what was going in a particular spot. Right, and another good idea, guys, if you're saying two, only two, um, here's what can be done. Parents, you could take this, put it on another plastic, like a Clorox bottle, cut off a wide open sheet, mm -hmm. cut the Clorox bottle around, I might do a video for you guys to see, and then place this on it, mark it out, and then cut it, and then you can get a lot more replica of this, but this is actually good. For documentation okay now i did say that we have one more and as you can see we have nothing in the bag no so what is the one more then the one more is the bag no? oh! <laughs> this is what i like if you notice on the bag you'll see holes at the bottom Ooh. this is literally a pot for them to put their soil in so they have everything wow. they need at one one time this is a massive bag but nonetheless you can use it guys and um something i noticed is black on the inside and white on the outside white on the outside no no that is if you know how you know light works white reflects the light so this will push away the light and it will have less heat going into the bag okay. but the black inside it will still retain some heat so the bag could Ooh. sweat and moisture will still be retained in nice it. that's nice guys so that was a great review of course with mr lewis from youth empowerment project <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you mr lewis so very much and again the video will be edited with pictures for you guys i hope that you enjoyed yeah, it's a very nice project they can use a lot of stuff that you can recycle with like um, this looks like an egg carton, That's so they great. can use something like that and other stuff to really just um, start that process. And it's a good project for you to do with them so you keep that connection. That is so very true. Of course, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below if you would like to ask any question. If you would like, of course, to get in contact with anybody, um, I will get their information, their email address, anything, and I will pin it in the comment section for you guys. Once again, thank you so very much, Mr. Lewis. Thank you for having of me. Course, I would like to have you so future, future um, videos. With you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Don't worry, guys. We did sanitize our hand and we'll sanitize <laughs> after. I know you guys are going to come in. <laughs> yes. Thank you so very much. Agra Suede is out. Bye, guys. <laughs>